Hey, everybody, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I am one of the hosts, Scott Ramp. <laughs> and I'm the other host, Noelle McFoy. Good morning, everyone, and happy Wednesday. <laughs> we are halfway through our week. Nope. Um, TGIW. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, it should be uh, TGIAF. Thank God it's almost Friday. Yeah, TGIAF. <laughs> but we've got a great show for you guys. We have Nikki Rob on today. She's going to be talking about the Seroptimus Club, mm -hmm. and they're giving out scholarships. So we hear, we will hear all about that from her. We've got some city council. We've got events for your next few days. ASAP has a very um, exciting musical guest artist, yeah. which we'll find out about later. Cool. But first up, we've got some weather. So the weather is going to be beautiful outside. So if you guys are stuck inside for the next couple days, you are, are gonna hate me because it's gonna be super nice outside it is a high of 63 today so it's probably the best cool day to get out and really active but then by the time it hits Thursday and Friday you can expect weather to be in the 70s so let's take a look it is currently 29 of course you can expect these cold mornings to continue for a little while but of course um, by Friday night and Friday morning you can expect your uh, low to be in the 40s Wow that's gonna be really nice yep and it's nice I, and warm. Yeah, I read in the paper, that, well, the, the Missoula, they say it's going to be up to 82, but wow. uh, on the National Weather Service, the uh, high is going to be 78. So either or, you know, four degrees off, it doesn't matter. It's probably going to get nice and warm, and it's going to be sunny, so it's definitely going to feel a lot warmer than it is. And usually the weather that they give us on the National Weather Service is the hottest temperature in the shade. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, so we'll, we'll find out all about that as it comes up. Yes, and I do have a little bit of snid, bit of city council I want to talk about just before we dive into the rest of our show. And it basically kind of sums up exactly what the city council was all about tonight. So here is Jeff Stevens. What is proposed will be nothing but a pale, pallid reflection of the Florence. Much of the proposed building is wholly lacking in depth, detail, texture, or imagination. It is a classic corporate blob that is built to a price and the lowest common denominator that they hope the public will be able to swallow without inducing a gag reflex. After the meeting, the architect made the most astonishing statement to me. He said most people don't pay much attention to buildings above the first floor level. Really? Perhaps people don't like to look at his work above the first floor. Perhaps he should limit himself to designing one-story buildings. Perhaps it comes from a place where people shamble and mope along, never looking up, focused entirely on commerce and profit. In Missoula, we tend to look up. We look at the sky and the mountains surrounding us, and yes, we do look at buildings above the first floor. We tend to be aspirational, and we are looking for the inspirational, and we'll not be finding much of it in that building. All right, so can you guess what you were ta uh, what he was talking well about? Well said, well said, sir. Yeah, Mercantile. Yes, the Missoula yeah. Mercantile. So the city well council, said. once again, was um, public commented, okay. as I like to call it. Yep. <laughs> they yeah. They get public commented all over this place. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, Missoula Mercantile is one of the hot, hot topics of that meeting. Yeah. And of course, they had a couple of special proclamations that they talked about. Um, I'll just um, kind of lightly mention them. And the two proclamations was Sustainability Month. It is Sustainability oh, okay. Month. Um, and there's School Library Month in Missoula as well. Cool. There's a lot of different months. I thought it was, um, this month was Child Abuse Awareness Month as well. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Good. So we'll just be aware of all of that. We'll have to be aware of all that stuff. Child Abuse Awareness, all that stuff. All Good. Great stuff. Good. <laughs> nice. All right, and um, yeah, I mean they uh, they um, updated the uh, parking ordinance. So of course, uh, from changing it from um, okay. So here's the idea. So here's the deal. So um, before just this last week, you could park, and if you got a ticket, you could contest that ticket, yep. and you get it thrown out because yep. they they had there was the no language. law to back up that ticket from paying in those kiosks. So if you can frustrate this kiosk, you never had to pay until now. Uh -oh. Like as of I think it was yesterday, this thing passed, and now you have to um, you make can't sure contest that it anymore. no, you can't contest your kiosk. Not that really anyone ever did, because just this last week I was uh, talking about the cell phone ordinance, yeah. and basically you could get away with yeah. if you contested <laughs> you talking on your cell phone. They they handed out thousands of tickets, <laughs> and only five people were just like, hey. We're not going to do that. I know. And they didn't get a ticket. No, all they, those five they people they, they, got waived. A, 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 as long as you can prove without a reasonable doubt that a person was talking on their cell phone while they're driving, then they deserve a ticket. But if they don't admit guilt and they're just like, mm -mm -mm, I did not talk on my cell phone. I was looking through my playlist. Yeah. And they they totally get off. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It, it's like you don't know about this stuff until you watch the city council, and you can watch the city council meetings live on our channel, channel 190, or you can also um. 
watch it anytime from the city council website uh, www.ci dot missoula dot mt dot us and it gives you this nice little page and you just type in city of missoula in any uh, google search and it's just wonderful so that's basically kind of what i wanted to talk about on on this um first oh, part of, that's so funny yeah i yeah that, but and that's a good reason for you guys to check up on city council and watch city council because there are some things you could totally get away with that you have no idea mm -hmm. Yeah. But with everything that's available at our fingertips, we're just giving you the tools that you need to yeah. stay at home and um, just screw the system. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a little. <laughs> I don't know. That's, just, that's a little overboard. Okay, I'm just but kidding. Everybody. It's it's uh, the word is um, I want to say uh, watch city council and chill. Oh well, yeah, watch city council and chill. Yeah. It, yo, girl, you wanna you wanna come over and watch some city council with me? <laughs> you wanna get, like, no. You oh, wanna okay. Get, uh, <laughs> you wanna learn all about our city ordinances with me, girl? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. So we do have a new program. Oh, we have a couple new programs on tonight, and this one. Um, um, and before we bring out our guest Nikki Rob, I'm going to show this clip and it's from the uh, Global Public Health and this is highlighting um, the the frustration a lot of people have um, with the hospitals in like Honduras and how e much easier it would be if they went to like a hospital like in Minneapolis. Cool, okay. So and when we come back we'll have Nikki Rob on to talk about the sore optimist. These people would go to Minneapolis as soon as they would go to Tegucigalpa, where they a lot of them would have to go to get help. Tegucigalpa is the capital of Honduras, and um, it's only three hours away. But three hours away could be a lifetime in terms. Uh, if you don't have the money, you don't get there. Um, and uh, I realize that I'm helping people who never would get help even if they were going to one of these American organizations or European organizations that are in that town. Um, and I've had the opportunity to create something. Um, sometimes I feel like maybe it's a little bit rogue, um, uh, but uh, I actually took another retired hand surgeon from Great Falls there last year who's done volunteer work in Honduras and Guatemala and around the world, and he was um, confirming that everything we were doing was on the on the up and up and is a good thing so it's super gratifying to do volunteer work um, I have the good fortune of you know being able to change somebody by separating their fingers or fixing a fracture and it's a very palpable has a very Hey, we're here with Nikki Robin, and she's here to talk about the uh, Soar Optimist uh, scholarship opportunity for uh, um, young women and uh, all sorts of different people who are aspiring to be more uh, publicly and uh, locally engaged yeah. in their community. Absolutely. So start off and tell us what is the Soar Optimist organization? All right, so Soar Optimist is an international women's service organization. Now, men are accepted, let's go ahead and get that clear, but we, <laughs> Soar Optimist actually means best for women. Okay. There's actually 75,000 and Sir Optimus in over 130 countries. So this is an international organization. Cool. Yes, and so I am part of Sir Optimus International of Missoula, and we are currently working on our Spirit of Excellence, a celebration of achievement. This is where we give out our four scholarships and a couple cash donations at the event. That's actually coming up next Thursday, April 14th at Ruby's. We still have plenty of tickets available, so if you guys still wanna come down, it's only $35 for a ticket. We're serving dinner from Cafe Ferenz, which is delicious. Um, they're gonna provide us with desserts. Uh, we've got Mary Windecker, she's the chamber, um, director of the Chamber of Commerce here in Missoula. She's going to be our guest speaker. Um, Heidi Miley is going to be our MC. Nice. Yes, it's going to be a really lovely evening. Mighty Heidi, as my boss likes to call her. Mighty Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Mighty Heidi. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> so um, let's talk a little more detail. What are each of the scholarships um, awarded to? So we have four different scholarships. We have one, um, the Ro Mona Rodell International Scholarship. That goes to an international student. We have several others. We we have the ProTech Scholarship, we have the Live Your Dream Scholarship, and the Vi Richardson Scholarship. Uh, one of these scholarships is for um, young women and the girls who are in high school and have done, been working with their community a lot. So we really encourage people to do volunteer work and, and engage within your community. And so one of those goes to them. 
Um, yeah, you can log on to our website, simissoula.com, and find more information about our scholarships. How much is each scholarship? How much are you guys giving away? They vary. Okay, cool. <laughs> so I don't actually have a total number for you. Yeah. Um, we are giving away two cash donations at our event as well. Um, we give $500 to two local nonprofits that benefit women and girls in our community. So this year we're going to be donating to... The Missoula Girl Scouts. Awesome. Yep, they're actually going to come down and do the color guard and a presentation of colors <laughs> for us. Cute. Yeah, we're really, really excited to have them here this year. Uh, make sure they bring the Samoas. Yeah, they better bring them cookies. They are. In fact, Girl Scouts has graciously donated us several boxes of cookies that we've incorporated <laughs> into our centerpieces. So everybody who comes will walk away with some Girl, Girl Scout cookies. Nice. Yes. Yes. Our other, our other cash donation this year is going to the Susan Talbot Youth Home for Girls. Okay. And so we'll actually have some of those girls down at the event as well so they get to be there have the dinner with us see our silent auction participate in the event it's really fun cool so how can people buy tickets um like i said you can either log on to simissoula.com but best would probably be to give me a call my number is 406-274-7628 um, like i mentioned we still have plenty of tickets available the event is five to nine at ruby's on april 14th if you want to just come on down that day and grab your ticket there will be some available for you too awesome right. and then how can people get involved with your organization if they want to? Um, like I said, you can log on to us on webs on the website. You can also find us on Facebook. You can also find our event on space on Facebook. That's the Spirit of Excellence event. Um, so there's lots of different ways. You can check us for the on the on all the online community calendars to find more information about our event. So it's out there. Cool. Okay. Is Great. there anything that we uh, missed? That we uh, want to mention? No, I think we pretty much covered it. Yep. Perfect. I think we pretty much covered That's it. Okay, so when and where, one more time. Okay, so the event again is April 14th at Ruby's Inn. That's not this Thursday, but the coming Thursday from 5 to 9 p.m. Okay, great. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks you. so much, you guys. We'll be right back after this. No matter what you're planning, If you plan to drink, plan to have a friend get you home. Get ride home ideas and tools at plantolive.mt.gov. Birthdays come and go, each year adding up to a lifetime full of extraordinary moments. At Missoula Aging Services, we promote the independence, dignity, and health of older adults. We are ready to help connect seniors to the help they need. Knowing you've got friends to support you, each birthday can be special. See how we can help. Call 728-7682 or log on to MissoulaAgingServices.org. I'm Montana Hope. I am Montana Hope. I am Montana Hope. For the last 30 years, the Montana Hope Project has been granting wishes to Montana children who face life-threatening illnesses. I'm Montana Hope. To make a donation and help their wishes come true, please visit MontanaHope.org. We are Montana Hope! Hey guys, we are back! And so I've got some community events for you for your Wednesday and Thursday. So, starting today at 10 a.m. over at Grizzly Peak, they've got a uh, stepping on building confidence and reducing falls in seniors. So this is get it dedicated toward our senior citizen friends um, to increase their confidence and get up and get active. So every Wednesday for seven weeks, they're going to be doing this at Grizzly Peak. You can register at massteppingon.eventbrite.com, but it looks like it's put on by the Missoula Aging Services, so just give them a call if you want more information or, and want to register and can't get online. Over at the Missoula Public Library, they've got open hours in their makerspace starting at 10 a.m. So from 10 to 6, you can work on a project of your choice or go in there and learn how to use their platforms. Okay, so I told you guys about how the library has had their peep show. So they uh, built a diorama, you can build a diorama using peeps and then submit it. So today is their uh, people's choice voting. So April 6th to April 16th, you can stop by the children's department to view the entries, pick up a ballot and choose your favorite. Yeah, so you got 10 days to do that, to go and vote. Uh, Taekwondo is at the Children, Children's Museum of Missoula starting at 11. Uh, championship training is sponsoring that. 
then over at Spectrum Discovery area, the Discovery Bench is Pressure, and the Brain Lab are Neurons. $3.50 for anyone four and over, and then if you're under three, you get them for free. And Spectrum Discovery uh, area is located on Front Street, across the street from the Public Library. Um, let's see. Also, over at the Spectrum Discovery area, they've got their Science Sprouts, Eric Carlisle Month, Little Cloud. So I think they're going to be, so Eric Carl month, I do believe Eric Carl is a children's author, um, if I'm correct, and so it looks like they're going to be talking about little clouds. Great. Sounds good. Over at the Missoula Butterfly House, they uh, have a little bugs, that's their uh, early childhood education program, and it usually is about ages two to four, somewhere in that area, but they learn about bugs. It's at noon, and it's over at the Missoula Insectarium Butterfly House. Over at the Missoula Public Library at 12.30, they have got a iPad class. So if you have an iPad, you don't know how to use it, you want to figure out the basics, you can go to the Missoula Public Library at 12.30, call 721-2665 to register for more information, but they'll teach you the basics. Over at the Lifelong Learning Center, they have Android basics for your smartphone. So if you've got an Android and you don't know how to use it, you can go over to the Lifelong Learning Center at 1 o'clock today, um, and they will teach you the basics of your Android. No iPhones allowed. No. Android only. Uh, over at the Missoula Public Library, we've got middle school writers that starts at 3.30. There's a writing group for ages, uh, for grades 6 to 9, and they just go in there, they give uh, some feedback, get feedback, play with words, and eat some chocolate. It keeps them out of trouble, too. And we've got a couple pint nights for tonight. Uh, we've got a community unite over at the Northside Kettle House. It starts at 5. It doesn't say what they're donating to, but 50 cents goes to the nonprofit chosen for that night. Um, over at the Laughing Grizzly Bar and Grill, they've got Growl for Good. Um, and so a dollar from each uh, adult beverage sold between 5 and 8 goes towards their nonprofit up the night. And then over at Lolo Peak Brewing Company, they have uh, got a pint night for Relay for Life. So from 5.30 to 8, 75 cents sold from each beer. Each beer sold 75 cents will go to Relay for Life. Over at the Lifelong Learning Center, they have got a Chilean Spanish class um, that starts at 6.30. So this will focus on the most used verbs, how to order in restaurants, booking your lodging and traveling, um, and they'll also learn typical slang. Yeah. Cool. Because each, you know, like there's um, there's Canadian French, and then there's France French. Yep. Two different types of French all together. Like totally. Ca Canada is very traditional. But only, language. but they only speak French in the eastern part of Canada. They don't speak French. Yeah, in the Montreal, Western part. Montreal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, from what I hear is that um, uh, people from France that go there are just like, huh, that's like, like my grandma used to say back in the day. Yeah. You know, like their dialect is like rooted in the original text of French. Yep. Words that the French don't even use anymore. Yeah. Which is crazy if you think about it. I know, that's it. It's like, imagine if you're in England, and like, you speak English, right? Yeah, but you're speaking like ye old English. <laughs> yeah. Or some kind of English. Because mm -hmm. they have more, the, the probably in England, London especially, have the most slang than any other. I would think so. Yeah, that's cool. It, language is interesting. It's interesting how you can like, there can be different kinds of the same language and how we get different words. And I would say English has got to be so hard to learn. Because I was thinking about it yesterday. I was thinking about all the different twos we have, like two, two, and two. Yeah. And all the different ways that they're used and how it can be easily confused. English language is very consolidated into yep. a lot of um, one word meaning five different things. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, it's love? So it's like, love means many different things. No, love only means one thing. <laughs> Sometimes. Duh. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> Languages are hard. But we're going back to events, everyone. So up next, we've got the Global Public Health Lecture Series. That is the Gallagher Business Building, Room 123. Starts at 6.30. And so the series features weekly lectures by prominent Montana local healthcare practitioners and professionals who work in low-income countries in the realm of health. So they go there, and then they come back, and they discuss about it and talk about it, just like Scott mentioned on Monday. Um, and then over at the Sunrise Saloon, we've got our country dance lessons with Kathy Clark. Starts at seven, five dollars per lesson. 
Um, and then Missoula Public Library, they've got their Socrates Cafe. This usually happens, I think it really happens like once a month, something like that. But it's to where you can go in there, you can hang out with other people and just talk about some philosophy. You can throw an idea out there and they'll explore it in every single way possible. Yeah, yeah. so great, yeah. Seven, so great. <laughs> All we are is dust in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that from um, Bill and Ted's Excellent yeah. Adventure. Yeah, I know. I watched that recently. You make me cry. <laughs> yeah, so crazy. So crazy. <laughs> so crazy. I know. I love when they like come back in time and then they're. Do they bring all those people back. Yeah, with them? yeah, and they're all in the phone booth. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure is such a classic. It's so ridiculous <laughs> it's too. So and ridiculous. like Abe Lincoln's there and he's like, "Let's party!" I'm yeah. Like, what? <laughs> like Abe, what are you doing? Abe, this is not you. No, Abe. Where's Daniel Day Lewis? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's a good one, and then they give like the best presentation ever. Yeah. So we were talking about the so uh, Socrates Cafe, and yeah. then we made fun of it in a little bit, and now we're on to last event. Yes, for we're today. on the last event for today. So we've got our Financial Peace University. This is a community. It says community class. So this is a nine lesson money management mm -hmm. course taught by America's most trusted financial guru, uh, Dave Ramsey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought Gordon Ramsay was the cook guy. <laughs> yeah, well, his brother Dave is really good at finance. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> so Dave and his teaching team will walk you through the basics of budgeting, dumping debt, planning for the future, and much more. Uh, cost is $90 per couple, and I don't have the phone. Oh, it's 90 Yeah. I don't have the phone number or the address, so it's kind of big. <laughs> it just happens. Fine. If you can find it, you're in. Yeah, here. Let it give me <laughs> one. You're just like, yo, man, if you can find it, it's like, I can't find it. You're still in. <laughs> you're still in, dude. Okay, I'm going to. I'm gonna... But I can't learn anything. It's like, you're, you're still in. You're still in, man. Okay. Okay, so I'm finding you guys the. So this will be at 283 West Front Street, Suite 302. Call 546 4616. That's like um, the uh, Spectrum Discovery Center. Oh, is it? In the, in the general in that, area. In that general area? Nice. Huh. Maybe. Huh. 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 Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Well, right, you guys, that's ado. what I've got for your events for Thursday. Up next, we've got Asaf. Boy, this is going to be fun, this. And Scott, I think you'll really appreciate this here. <laughs> I'm sure I will. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, our guest today is Kenneth Ronald Barry, known to the world as Ken Barry. Ken Barry is an American sitcom actor, and he's quite the dancer, as we'll see in a bit. He's a dancer, singer. He's appeared in multiple television shows. A few of them are a show from the past called F Troop. Another one is a spinoff of the Andy Griffith show called Mayberry RFD. And of course, his character, Vinton Harper, on Mama's Family with Vicki Lawrence. But um, to tell you a little bit about Ken Berry, he was born in um, northwestern Illinois, and at the age of 12, he took an interest in dancing and at singing that young. But this is where this will interest you, Scott. After graduation from high school, he joins the Army, right? And he's in the artillery division. And he gets, he joins a, a, a talent contest that his sergeant put on in the Army. And he winds up winning first prize in this contest. So in the Army, they sent him to New York to appear on the Arlene Francis Soldier Parade. And then, this will really interest you, in his second year in the Army, his sergeant, Sergeant Leonard Nimoy, <laughs> of course, we're talking about Leonard Nimoy of Star Trek. See, in 1953, Leonard Nimoy also listed in the Army, and he was in the Army Reserves, and he was doing the special services entertainment shows. Leonard Nimoy was hosting them, NCing them, and he enters Ken Berry into one of the contests, and Barry ends up uh, taking uh, third place in this second contest. And so because of that, Leonard Nimoy contacts the um, movie studios of that time and they set up an opportunity for him to appear on the Ed Sullivan show. And of course he was a hit. So let's show this clip here and, we, you know, and you'll see why this man was such a hit.
You ready? Now watch this intricate part right here coming up. One, two, three. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Yeah, that's Literally, cool. Boyce set that up for him to do this. And he was on the Ed Sullivan show, and he became a hit. And so after um, Leonard Nimoy sets all this stuff up for him, he goes on to soar in his career. And when you talk about F Troop, I don't know if you know that show, but this was a Western spoof. And Ken Berry plays the accident prone Captain um, Parminer, I think it's how that's pronounced. And then when he was on Mayberry RFD, he plays Widower Farmer. Sam Jones, and it was just like watching the Andy Griffith show because Andy Griffith retired from the show and then Kid Berry took over and they changed it from the Andy Griffith show to Mayberry RFD. Cool. And then as he began to get older, he did a spin off of the Brady Bunch called Kelly's Kids, where they featured this actor here and he adopted three children one was white, one was black, and one was Asian. But ABC wasn't quite ready for that kind of a sitcom at that time. So, they still aren't. Yeah, so after doing a few appearances on the conclusion of the Brady Bunch, the pilot never took oh. off. Interesting. And then finally, as he got even physically older, he was still able to dance, and he goes on to make history with Vicki Lawrence on Mama's Family playing Vinton Harbor. Now, Ken cool. Berry is 82 years old wow. now, so he's probably not dancing much, but in his prime... He was considered one of the best dancers, as you can see yeah, from that clip. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, my parents used to watch him when I was a kid growing up, so that's how come I, I'm familiar with him. Cool. So Ken Berry left the world. Some great comedy films. you got to watch F Troop. You'll see it. I will, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, of course, your audience can look him up and catch all the rest of his dancing in his prime. Cool. cool. He was quite the dancer. Nice. Thank you very much, Asaf. Sure. Thanks, Asaf. Awesome. That was Musical Notes with Asaf Adonai, and we'll be right back after this. We are back and we've got some events for Thursday. So this is what's going on in your community tomorrow. Oh, oh, hang on. Click on it. Technical difficulties. Click on the screen. There you go. Weird, okay. Okay, so this is what's going on in your community Thursday. So starting at 9 a.m. over at the Lifelong Learning Center, they've got a flagging certification class. Woo! It starts at nine. Um, so this is a one day class so you'll be eligible to apply for positions in the road construction field. Um, they always need flagging positions, uh, so this is a good class to take. I want to be that guy who holds the stop sign to people. The, oh, shoot. Where are we? Okay. And the other guy who's just like... Holds that stop sign? I mean, I bet I wouldn't want to do that because you'd stay in there all day long. It'd be hot. It would be boring. You'd be outside? You'd be outside. Road construction is not my cup of tea. Mm. This is. But it, like the nice thing about those t particular types of jobs is that you could get them, but it's not like it's like a lot of commitment for sh um, X amount of time, and they're pretty much over. Yeah. 
And there's her cell. Uh, unless it's the uh, third street. Oh, because oh, that never took done. That like six months. Yeah, forever. Forever. And they no. finally kind of sort of finished it. They're going to do another section of it further up, but that's not going to affect, you know, good food store traffic. That's good. <laughs> oh. oh, excuse me. <laughs> or the Sinclair. Or the Sinclair. Yep. The Sinclair traffic. And all the, um,. <laughs> All the pawn shops that are on Third Street. I know it's so weird. <laughs> There's a lot of pawn shops. There are a lot of pawn shops. On and the Third Coke Street. and the Coke factory. Third Street's kind of interesting because it's just like, it's like we've got our downtown area and then we cross over Orange Street and then it comes to this like weird section that's just kind of like, I don't know, it's just kind of like houses of random yep. buildings. And you could be a part of that without actually having to do any kind of hard work. All you have to do is hold some flags. Mm -hmm. And make and direct traffic. Yeah, flag around. Yeah, you don't have to like do some backbreaking labor or anything like that. But it's classes that are being ha happening tomorrow. It's true. Yeah. All right, and then now we're moving on. So over the Providence Center, we've got our NAMI Missoula Weekly Meeting. It starts at 10 a.m. It's a free weekly meeting for anyone affected by mental illness or interested in learning about NAMI. Over the Children's Museum of Missoula at 11 tomorrow, we've got family yoga. Toddlers and preschoolers uh, will love this class, and but grown-ups are encouraged to participate, too. Over the Learning Center at Red Willow, we have Basics of Resilience class. It starts at 11. This is a free class, so you can call 721-0033. Um, but they explore what makes us resilient and how we can build on the basics ability of what each of us carries. It's pretty cool. Over at Spectrum Discovery Area, Discovery Bench is Spin. The Brain Lab is Memory and Perception. That starts at 11. It's $3.50 for anyone four and over. At 1.30 at Naomi Missoula, which is located on Brook Street, they've got a connection support group. So this is a free weekly support group for adults living with mental illness. Over at the Missoula Butterfly House and Insectarium, they have got isopod experiments from 3 to 5 tomorrow. So you can go on down there and learn how isopods live as they race down a track under a variety of temperature conditions. Cool. So it's going to have, uh, a, it's going to be about what the effects winter temperatures have on arthropods. And then you'll get to work with live isopods. I think you can go down there and find out what each of those means. Over at the Missoula Public Library, they've got their electronics exploration. So from 3 to 6 in the makerspace, you can work on a project of your choice or learn how to use their equipment. And then over at the Missoula Public Library, we've got Lego Club starting at 3.30 until 5. Um, children 12 and under need to have an adult with them, but they provide all the Lego and Duplo pieces for you. Nice. Yeah. We go back over to the Missoula Insectarium for spider feeding. They re feed Rosie the Chilean rosehair tarantula. That's at 3.30. And then at 5, over at La Grana Bella, they've got their downtown drop-in wine tasting. Word on the street is that it's $12.50, not $10 anymore. But they have a minimum of four wines in a different theme each week. Oh, and I got, uh, oh, throwing back to the Chilean spider at the Insectarium, I got Thursday off, so Ooh. I'm going to totally go down there. Oh, you should! It's like my only time to actually do it before the school year ends. Yeah, it's true. I know, I want to look at it too, but I've... I'm going to get a video. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm just going to hold up my iPhone. Yeah. Like, you're not supposed to get a video. It's like, shut up. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> this is for television. Um, I want to, but I have a bunch of homework I have to do tomorrow. I need to wake up early. And Spring break. Get on that homework grind. <laughs> I just see you like hanging out with your notebook. Spring break. Spring break. Hey, no. Spring break. I told you I'm gonna get an A minus. Yeah. Wait. Now B plus. Something's cool on Netflix. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. I really need to get my stuff together. But it's been a nice spring break. I had all day off yesterday, and it was really, really nice. It was awesome. Yes, but now we're moving on. Uh, so we go over to Community Medical Center for their Toastmasters Club. This is a lively club where I, you can get together and you improve your public speaking abilities, increase your confidence, become a better speaker and effective leader, and these guys help you do it. Um, so it's at Community Medical Center. It starts at 6. You can go to missoula.toastmastersclub.org to find out more information about that. Oh, we've got a couple, we've got some music at some uh, breweries. So we've got Country Line is at Draftworks Brewing Company at 6. And then over at Lola Peak Brewing Company at 6, a, we've got a band called Love is a Dog from Nebraska. Both of those sound like country bands. Uh, and then we've got some cooking classes. Over at Taste Buds Kitchen, they're going to be making a taste of Italy. That's uh, $40 per person. It's for adults, so you can bring your own beverages. 
And then over the Good Food Store, at four thirty-five dollars at six thirty, they have got a hands-on cake decorating class. Mm. Yeah. So that can give you um oh it's fifty five dollars. Oh. I'm sorry. No. I know. No, no. Uh, there is a at seven p.m. tomorrow. There's a Missoula Animal Communication Meetup. And so, led by animal communicator Janet Roper, this group gives you the opportunity to explore animal communication through a variety of venues, discussions, presentations, book reviews, practice, experimental classes, and workshops. Um, and so that starts at 7. Yeah, 223 North Higgins. And then we've got some music for tonight over the Sunrise Saloon. We've got Kaleidoscope Entertainment that starts at 8, the country band. The Dark Horse, uh, also at 8, has got Hemlock on their Groove Assault Tour with Ectomorph, Blissidium, and Resurgence. <laughs> that's pretty good. It starts, yeah, it starts at 8, and that's 5 bucks. Uh, open <laughs> it's like a um, kid band. Yeah, right. It's so totally kid-friendly. Blissidium. Yeah, no, it's, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Blissidium. Uh, we've got a couple more. We've got Open Mic at the Eagles Lodge at 8.30, Open Mic at the Broadway at 9, Dead Hipster Badlander at 9, and Karaoke at the Dark Horse at 9. We also have John Howard's Comedy Night at the Union at 9.30. And then Baby Tiger is at the Top Hat Lounge at 10. So as always, check out MissoulaEvents.net, the University of Montana website, The Missoulian, and The Independent for more events in your community. Yes. I always get my information from MissoulaEvents.net, so you can see what I uh, talk about and more information about that, and you can see all the other events that I didn't list. <laughs> I guess okay. Yeah. It sounds great. There's a lot of cool things. Mm -hmm. Um and you can find out more information also by logging on to our website, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wake up Missoula. So nice we made you write it out twice. Um you have a nice little Facebook page. Mm -hmm. We have a Twitter page at Wake Up Missoula. No one else has taken it, so we're not at the real Wake Up Missoula. <laughs> <laughs> um, Missoula Community Access Television also has a Twitter page at MCAT TV Missoula. You can also check us out on Facebook. And to find out more information about MCAT, go to MCAT.org. Yep. And yeah. exactly one week from today, 5.30 p.m., we're doing orientation so you can come down and be part of the MCAT family where you can make your own programs, help other people make their programs, be an ASAP show. You can't be on our show unless you have like a event that's coming up that's... Yeah. And you have to represent like a nonprofit or an organization that really benefits the community. Yeah. And you can get in contact with us by calling 542-6228, otherwise known as 542-MCAT. Or you can email us, mcat at mcat.org, if you're too scared to call. And ASAP, if people want to be on your show, how should they get a hold of you? Uh, just send me an email here at um, mcat or my email, asaf at at hotmail.com. Okay, yep. great. Thanks, ASAP. Yep. So, ASAP Adonai at hotmail.com. Yep. If you guys want to be on ASAP show, ASAP, when is your show? Well, we tape it on Thursdays from 1 till about 4, and the premise of the show, you just talk to me as I play the piano. It's the simplest thing in the world. It's impromptu, no script, no makeup, just come as you are. Perfect. <laughs> and just come and talk to me. Great. Cool. Thanks, ASAP. Sure. And now it's time for my favorite uh, scripted segment, Hallmark or Bullmark. <laughs> <laughs> Experim experimental dog communication class? Yeah, I know. While I was talking about the animal communication uh, class, Scott was dying. Uh, uh, that was hilarious. I don't, I don't know if you guys could hear his laughter, but I decided to not put any energy to no, it. No, no, don't put any energy to it. It was just like, was it was talking. ridiculous. Yeah, I don't care. Whatever. All right. I think it's cool. Uh, all right, are you guys ready? <laughs> Let's play. So if you guys don't know how this game works, I read a synopsis from a Hallmark original movie, or do I? And you, the people, the people of Missoula County, and people maybe online, if you pause the video and just write Mark, then you can decide whether or not it's a Hallmark original movie or it's complete Bull Mark. Hence the name Hallmark or Bull Mark. Let's play! <laughs> ah, okay, got that, What? I'm like, I have to be excited about this because it's my favorite segment of the game. Uh, of the, of the gay. <laughs> of the gay. Let's do this. All right, hit it ASAP before I go crazy. Or let him go crazy. Stop. <laughs> All right. Jenny is an average stay-at-home mom, but when her youngest kid starts going to school, she must find something to do. Not having a job since she married out of high school, Jenny will soon find out what she's been missing out on. She meets with a couple banks in town with little to no success with getting a teller job until a new local bank opens with the opportunity of a lifetime. 
As Ginny begins to have more and more responsibilities with her success, she begins to become less active at home. Can this new working girl find a way to be successful both at work and home? And the movie's called Home and Away. Is this a Hallmark original movie or is this complete bullmark? Oh my gosh. I don't know. Um... I'm gonna say Hallmark. I'm gonna say this is the worst Hallmark movie ever. This is a lame I'm gonna movie. say I'm gonna agree it's Hallmark. Pretty lame Hallmark. You, movie. You're gonna say it's Hallmark. Pretty lame Hallmark movie. Wrong, wrong. Uh, uh, it's a complete. Uh, I completely well, made it that up. Like that could be real. You know, it totally does sound like it could be real. Enough. Do you forget how good I am at writing these? I I guess so. Yeah, I forget <laughs> all the time. I don't even. You're know, like. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I've been doing Hallmark the last couple weeks. Uh -oh. Is that I just threw you off and yeah, now. I did. Maybe I'm doing double bullmark. So I, this one's probably is, the next one is probably bullmark. Who knows? I don't even know. All right, are you guys ready to play the next round of Hallmark or Bullmark Hallmark? <laughs> <laughs> so get your cross the bar faces ready for this next one. <laughs> All right, hit it ASAP. Let's get this show on the road. <laughs> Jeffrey Bowman, a trucker whose big rig just broke down en route to his last stop, is stuck in a small town whose mechanic is also the mayor. Oh, good. Mayor Rick Taggart is a kind, well-rounded individual who is a little more than willing to say yes to solving any problem in town. Jeffrey is in a hurry to get home to witness the birth of his daughter, who is due any day now. When both men meet when both men cross paths, Rick welcomes Jeffrey to their quiet little town and promises to have his rig fixed by the end of the week. As the week comes to an end, Jeffrey begins to question if he'll ever leave his small town in time to be home. <laughs> and the movie's called Keep On Truckin'. Is this a Hallmark Region movie or is this a complete Bullmark? I'm gonna call Bullmark. You're gonna say Bullmark? Yeah, I'm going to agree. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, guys. Congratulations, you have won the second half yeah! of Hallmark or Bullmark. Oh, good. Yeah, Yusef. Yeah. <laughs> I put a little more of myself in the first one than the, than yeah. the next one. Well, God, Scott, these are some pretty lame Hallmark movies. <laughs> I would never watch But it's always like you're stuck in a small town, but then they learn to love it. And I know. But this is more like he's just trying to get out. But he's just trying to get out of that town. <laughs> like that. Be steward watch your mouth. wonderful life. Yeah, right? Yeah. He wanted to get out of that town so bad. But he's a trucker who gets stuck in a small town, oh. and his family is somewhere else. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, I'd watch that movie. Yeah, I'm sure you would. <laughs> I would. <laughs> but you can watch Wake Up Missoula later today in our afternoon broadcast at 2 p.m. Yeah, you can. And you can watch us online on our YouTube channel, Wake Up Missoula. It's that great. All you got to do is type in Wake Up Missoula. You can find us on the Google, the Yahoo, the Bing. Mm -hmm. Don't go on Bing because it's terrible. I typed in Wake Up Missoula yesterday on on Google, and it came up with Facebook page, our Wix page, our Twitter page, and YouTube. Yeah. So you type in Wake Up Missoula on Google. It's all that constant forward. social media we've been doing. Mm -hmm. It's just like post forward. everything that we do. Yep, yeah. But of course... I just want to thank Nikki Rob for showing up today, and I want to thank the City Council for providing such wonderful videos. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, um, I want to yeah. thank myself for Hallmark or Bullmark, <laughs> and I want to thank Noel for some um, Missoula Events oh, .net. Thanks, thanks, Scott. I'm gonna thank myself for being so great. <laughs> and ASAP, thanks for yeah, talking and about Ken ASAP Berry. being the best ever and playing a piano for us every right. time. And thanks for joining us on Wake Up Missoula and thanks, for Wake Up Missoula. I'm Scott Ramph. And for Wake Up Missoula, my name's Noel McFoy. Here is ASAP Adonai, and we'll see you guys Friday.